Welcome! This video covers how to calibrate scales. Sometimes your drawing files will have an incorrect scale or no scale at all. If the drawing has one or more dimensions, you can specify the scale by calibrating it from a dimension. First, click the Set Drawing Scale button in the Scale group on the Home tab. Pick out a dimension specified on the drawing. The longer the dimension, the better the accuracy. Then click the Calibrate button in the Drawing Scale Edit window. Move the Hint window or scroll and zoom the drawing as needed. Then click on one end of the selected dimension. You can press the Hint window's Cancel button to cancel calibration. When you click on the first end of the dimension, the first Hint window will disappear and the second Hint window will appear. Move the Hint window or scroll and zoom the drawing as needed then click on the other end of the selected dimension. You can press the Hint Windows Back button to redo the first point or press the Cancel button to cancel calibration. When you click on the other end of the dimension, the second Hint Window will disappear and the Scale Edit window will reappear. The drawing distance for the selected dimension will be filled in and the focus will be on the actual distance. Enter the scale's actual distance you can enter this as feet and inches such as 5-2 or 5-2 and 1 half. Be sure to leave a space between the inches and the fraction. You can also enter the actual distance with decimals like 5 and a half inches would be 5.5. The same scale can be described in many ways. The scales 1 quarter inch equals 1 foot, 1 inch equals 4 feet, and 2.25 inches equal 9 feet are identical. A normalized scale is one where either the drawing distance or the actual distance is 1. If you press the Normalize button, eTakeoff will display a menu containing the three normalized scales. The third scale option uses 1 foot for the actual distance and sets the drawing distance to the nearest 1 16th of an inch. The percentage, the adjusted scale, is of the calibrated scale is displayed so you can see how significant the rounding is. Select one of the scales to normalize the current scale or press the escape button to keep the non-normalized scale. Click OK to save the calibrated scale for this drawing. Thank you. That is the end of this training video.